Drunk drivers who deliberately use county roads outside the city of Albuquerque to avoid one of the most harsh DWI penalties can't get away with that anymore. But now Bernalillo County has changed that, passing a vehicle seizure law that matches the city's. Here's News 13's Crystal Gutierrez. And Jessica Dick, county officials say convicted drunk drivers know that once they do leave city limits, they were in the clear to keep their cars if they got pulled over again for DWI, but not anymore. When you've got somebody heading for the county line trying to avoid a vehicle seizure, that kind of tells you everything you need to know. County officials say for far too long, parts of the county surrounding Albuquerque have been a safe haven for drunk drivers. That's about to come to an end. The county has nearly mirrored a city law that strips repeat drunk drivers of their cars when they're pulled over again for DWI. If you've had one conviction and this is your second arrest, then they can seize your vehicle. Commissioners passed the ordinance last night. They say it's needed because repeat drunk drivers have learned what laws they can avoid by using county roads instead of city streets. The uh, city's hearing examiner told me of a story of one gentleman that uh, was blew through a stop sign and was headed out down the street and would not pull over until he got outside the city limit. Commissioner Wayne Johnson says it was the fourth DWI arrest for that repeat offender and that others have tried this trick too. The sheriff says it's not hard to do. Bridge and eighth, if you're stopped uh, for DWI, DUI, uh, the penalty is going to be that as a repeat offender of a, the possibility of a seizure of vehicle. If that repeat offender crosses over the river and then pulls over, they're now in the county and they would keep their car. But with the county's new ordinance, that will not be an option anymore. The program is expected to cost the county $2 million to run, but it's already talking to the city about teaming up and running the programs together to save money, meaning the number of cars you see here in the city's seizure lot is expected to increase. We're averaging anywhere from 130 to 160 a month. And of course, those seized vehicles are auctioned off, which helps pay for the program. Back to you. Okay, Crystal, the new law goes into effect in 30 days.